This was, I think, the great thing about Mo. She was completely out of character for politicians, and that was the great um, uh, benefit she had. Of course, you will recall that she'd had this um, diagnosis of a tumour, um, and so by the time that she'd arrived as Secretary of State, she had, had a wig um, because of radiotherapy, and every now and again she'd take it off and put it on the table and completely disarm the poor devils who were in front of her, trying to work out whatever it was they were talking about. So what was different about Mo Mullum's approach than previous Secretaries of State? Well, I think Mo, initially, without Mo, it would have been much more difficult for the Republicans to come to the table. That's my view. There may be some Republicans in the audience who would disagree. But um, that was both a huge advantage because Mo's style was so informal, so removed from what had been used previously. But on the prison, I can say that you're off your bloody head going in there. And she was absolutely spot on. She went into the prisoners, in this case, to see loyalists. And I just thought it would be a um, complete flop. But in fact, it turned over to be exactly the opposite. So she had a feel. She had a nose for what was the right thing. Perhaps it was because she had a feminine touch about her. It may well have been that there was something different about having a woman there. Because attitudes in Northern Ireland weren't most modern, if you like, uh, towards women politicians at that time.